Video 6 Creating the Contacts page. To create the Contacts page, do exactly the same as you did before and insert the text for the Contacts page. Next, open the Forms assets and go down to Form and hold down the Control key and drag this over into the text box and fit this form over the top of the text box. OK. Right click this form and go to Edit Form Properties. Go to Email Name the form, I'm going to call it Contacts and put my college email address in. And click OK. That will ensure that the information entered by the viewer of the web page is sent to me by email. Next I'm going to add the form elements to the page. First of all I'm going to insert a box for the name. Then another box, a text area for the address. And then another text area for telephone number. No text area for the email address. Another about information required. And then I'm going to use a drop down combo box. Um, for the customer to request brochures. This time don't hold down the control key. We'll leave the name at brochure and then we'll add options. So the first option is no selection or if the customer doesn't want to order a brochure. And to give it a value that will be seen on the email I'm going to use the short name of no sell. Click OK. Go to add another option. Please send the UK holiday brochure and the short name UK Hold. And then the last one. the short name of EU Halls. Click OK and OK again. 
and then just resign, re replace this box wherever you want to put it. And then one last text area for if the customer wants any more information. Make that fairly big. What you also need to do is to add some buttons to this. So you need to add a form button here. I will make that a submit button. We'll give it the name submit. Place it down at the bottom. I will add another one and we'll give that reset. For if a customer makes an error and wants to change it, and save. And that is a contacts page. You can now view it in a web browser and test it if you want to. Use your own email address for the form and it will send you the information to you. So that's your website completed. Now you can browse it and look at it complete. There's the home page, the holiday page, the benefits page and the contact page. In the last video, number seven, we will publish the website.